guys so welcome to this youtube channel hello you welcome to this youtube channel <laughs> my name is linda odo and i'm a medical doctor on this page i'll be sharing with you everything that i love to do this will go from health promotion to lifestyle talk to motherhood to career and most importantly the iys that's like my my baby at heart okay today we'll be discussing or i'll be showing you how to make paper bags that you can customize into any character that you like girly characters or characters for kids so for this one we're making a cocoa melon bag just a brief story about how we got to um that bag before we get into that i just want you to know that this is my first official youtube video thank you and i hope that i will be able to keep consistently um i'll be consistent in you know getting more and more content for you because that has actually been one of the reasons why i've held back for so long from this youtube train but i think i'm going to be able to figure it out going forward so um i want to tell you the brief story behind this coco melon bags that i've made so i have this um family tradition that i'm trying to build where i diy something for every special event it's a way of connecting and having better memories around it so for my wedding I did um, my bouquet and for my child's first birthday I did the decoration and then for the second one I really didn't think I'll be able to figure it out because um, I just had the baby about six weeks ago so it felt like it to be quite intensive but when I started looking for cocoa melon boot bags and I didn't find then it just felt like okay just give it a shot maybe it will just turn out fine so that was how we got to make these bags it, as you can see in the picture it turned out very very well so let's get down into it if you want to see where you can source some of these materials from especially if you're in Abuja then please watch till the end now if you're here okay if you're here currently watching this video then you have to subscribe I'm, as in trust me when I see that you will be loving my content especially if you're um, a DIY fan or if you're a young mom and you're a career oriented person you will love my content because I'll be bringing a lot of tips from my personal life and I'll also be looking forward to learning a lot from you you will enjoy my page so subscribe like click the button now and put on notifications if you love any of this that you're seeing today sisters and brothers please make a comment to encourage your sister so that i will know that if i decide to be finding time to be consistent that some people out there actually will love my content so here are all the items we'll be using to create this final beautiful um, piece of paper bag customized with coco melon um this is a paper bag without the design this is an a4 cardboard paper with the um, customizing pieces the the family coco melon logo the baby boy <laughs> um the cutouts of the names and like marking the birthday celebration this is an embossed paper that will be used to seal the bottom of the um like this we have here this is our sugar paper that is going to be used to create the main body of the paper bag um like like this one that's the green this is a cutout of the embossed paper usually if you're using cardboard paper you have to double it so that it can be thick enough to bear um the weight of the content inside all right and then we have our cutout sugar paper in green i made two colors yellow two shades of green so three colors and this is the top gum this is our scissors i'll be dropping the measurements in the comment section for all the different items used okay to help you if you want to create the same exact thing so for this you're using a 22 inches wide paper and 11 inches long you're going to fold one edge like i've done here after which you apply your gum um sorry i'm using my hand to apply i can't find my gum brush and after you have applied the gum you seal with the other end okay and then you press down neatly you don't want to stain your paper you have to be very careful to avoid staining the paper 
okay so this is it now you're going to pick up and find the edge that is the finished edge you know one edge was cut with scissors like that one this is the finished edge and you fold two inches this will be forming the base you can make it bigger if you want it to be the base to be wider okay but here i'm using two inches and this is what i used to get my product you fold just like i'm doing here then you open up make sure the edges are very neat and precise like this the angles must the angle must be sharp I don't have yellow embossed paper and that's why I'm using this yellow um, cardboard sheet. So I'm cutting out the excess. I'm using 2 inches only. So I'll cut out um, the extra paper. Okay, and after I'm done cutting, I'm going to stick it together. Remember, I said if you want it to, um, you're going to make it, you're going to double the paper so that it's thick enough to carry whatever weight of any item you're going to be using to fill the the pepper bag so you give it some time to dry before you start using the beautiful thing about top bond top bond is that it has a way of hardening the paper which just makes it perfect for this particular project so you place it under and then you wrap the sugar paper over it like this precision is everything it has to go under it properly before you can stick together that way you get um, a perfect seal So after applying the top bun, allow to air dry for about a minute or two and after air drying then you stick it together. Try to take away the excess gum as well when doing this that way the work looks neat afterwards. The additional pair of hands belong to my, my, my assistant craftswoman, that's my daughter actually the celebrant so each time you see her hands pop up it belongs to her. <laughs> So now that we're done with sealing the bottom, it's time to fold the edges, okay? Just follow um, every single step and you'll be fine. It's not really like rocket science per se. Make sure there's precision edge to edge in everything that you're doing. No extra spaces. Edge to edge, the edges have to be aligned and it has to be precise. The angles have to be sharp. And when you're done doing all these um, steps, you have your paper bag ready like this beautiful like i really enjoyed this particular project because i've always wanted to do a paper bag but i mean i just didn't um the need did not arise basically so i was really happy to have finally done a paper bag so next we'll be placing our cutouts like this is the fun part for me customizing trying to find the placement that will be perfect so for this um family um of coco melon family i decided to place it in the middle but for the other ones i placed side by side because i also needed space above to be able to fold the bag eventually so that's how we came about our beautiful beautiful bags So that brings us to the end of the creation process. And right, I told you that if you watch till the end, I'm going to tell you where I sourced some of the materials I used in creating those bags from. So if you live in Abuja, there's this very popular market for creatives. Like that's where I get everything. If you spotted um, uh, a flower vase in the picture in the video that was golden in color, that was a DIY project from materials I sourced in that market using an empty nan 
container so i'm going to be making a video on that later later on but that market is where i get everything from like i can just enter that market and then i will get inspiration from the things that i'm seeing so if you haven't been to utc market in garaki and you're a creative then you need to pay a visit to that market you would find literally anything that you need to be creative in that market so um if you know any other place in any other state where such things can be found please drop in the comment section to help one another i would also like to know especially for lagos and enugu because enugu is like i'm more adibu <laughs> so yes yeah, so okay see you till next time bye bye